Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. This week, I would like to talk about what happens when someone keeps breaking up with you and what you should do. And I've received several emails regarding this recently, so I figured I better talk about it. So I have two emails that I will go through quickly because they're actually very similar. All right, so the first one says, we were together for three years. He's 26 and I'm 27. Our relationship progressed quickly and we started living together after six months, which means that he was 23 at the time and she was 24, approximately. Neither of us had lived with a boyfriend girlfriend before. We had a perfect relationship prior to moving in together and the fighting began when we started living together. What does that tell you? Everyone gets together living together thinking, oh, it'll be great. Well, maybe yes and maybe no. Okay, continuing on. He lived a party lifestyle before entering a relationship. Of course, he was 23. That's what you do when you're 23. And made it clear he wasn't looking for a relationship when we met, but that we hit it off so well he wanted to make it work. Okay, so at least he was trying to make it work. We've broken up more than five times because he says he's not ready for this life, but will quickly change his mind. Five times? <laughs> like, that's a lot of back and forth. That's a lot of drama. On again, off again, on again, off again. And probably the reason he's changing his mind is not necessarily because he wants to be in a committed relationship with anyone, not necessarily you, but that's his attachment anxiety speaking. He feels the anxiety of being away from you and then he wants you back. But then when you're there, then he realizes, eh, I don't know. And then you break up. So it's this back and forth. You're like a yo-yo. I've moved out of our home for the third time now. Wow, people must love to move. I hate moving. <laughs> and he's not contacted me since. I've noticed he's been contacting other women online and on dating sites. He said it's not personal and that if he were to settle down, it would be with me, but that he feels he needs to figure out his life before doing so and he's not ready for a commitment. Is his reason for ending the relationship true or is he letting me down easy? Well, given his age and his actions, I think it probably is true. He's just not ready. I don't know where he is in his life, financially and in terms of his career, but guys do not want to settle down until they feel they're somewhat settled. And having been together since he was 23, he just feels he probably has a lot more things that he wants to do, maybe a lot more women he wants to date. He just wants to sow some more wild oats probably. And if that's what he wants, that's what he wants. You can't force him to make a commitment. Do you want to be with someone who's dying to settle down with you, not someone who's on the fence and, mm, I don't know, this week yes, this week no. All right, the next one says, my now ex-boyfriend is always breaking up with me. He's 42 and I'm 38. So this couple is a little bit older. For the past five years, he's broken up with me more times than I can count. So here we have another woman. She's 11 years older than the previous email and yet, same thing happening. So you would think that one would get wiser with age, but it doesn't always happen. For the past five years, he's broke. I already said that. Um, and I always chase him back, and he comes back. After watching your videos, I stopped panicking and stopped begging him this last time. The problem is we live together. We just renewed our lease for another year and a half. So another couple living together, <laughs> another couple breaking up and getting back together continuously. Broke up with me three weeks ago. He's been sleeping on the sofa and using the guest bedroom. Now we've been getting along, but he's holding his ground and staying on the sofa. I can't do this for another year and a half, but I want him back, so what do I do? Us not getting along was one of the reasons he broke it off. Well, that's usually the reason people break things off, for not getting along. Please help, and I don't know why a grown man keeps breaking up with me and coming back in the first place. Well... I agree with you. He's 42. However, my question to you is, because he's not the one who's writing to me, you are, why would a grown woman continue to be with a man who continues to break up with her? You know, someone that loves you, they are not going to break up with you. And they're certainly not going to keep breaking up with you continuously over and over. They would almost rather die than not be with you if they really love you. They will not break up with you. And... I, yeah, he's just as much as fault as you are because he keeps coming back. I don't know why. I wouldn't necessarily say it's necessary because of love. He might 
have also attachment anxiety where he wants you, but then he doesn't want you. He misses you, but then you're there and then he sees it's not working, but then he can't live without you. It's like, can't live with you, can't live without you. And that's not really a healthy relationship. You want someone that can't live with you and that's it. I'm sorry, can't live without you, can't live without you. So I have a rule in terms of getting back with an ex and here it is. If someone breaks up with you, as I've said in previous videos, you say, okay, and you just go away and that's it. Now, if they want you back, they better have a really good reason for why they broke up with you, why they want you back, what's going to change, what's going to be different, and why they're not going to break up with you again. They need to give you really great answers to all those questions. Don't just be in a hurry to run back because otherwise you're going to be in this situation where it's continuously back and forth, back and forth. And the problem is also that when you continue to go back with someone, you lose value. You're not a high value woman when you keep going back, especially as this last email, she keeps chasing him. So now you're going back, but you're, you have less value in his eyes. You're more like a doormat because you're willing to put up with all the breakups. And who is attracted to a doormat? Hmm, let me see. Oh, I know. No one. No one is attracted to a doormat. So as I was saying, the ex, the rule for getting back with an ex is they need to answer all those questions. And so then if you do get back together and if they break up with you a second time, that's it. Maximum two breakups. If they break up with you a second time, that's it. No going back ever again under any circumstance, no matter what. <laughs> okay? Because if they do it once and they do it twice, they'll do it again. And meanwhile, the years go by and you're losing value in their eyes. And I can't help you at that point. I mean, these two men are obviously not interested in a real commitment or they wouldn't keep breaking up with you. So both women want to know how to get them back. No, I'm not going to tell you how to get them back because you need to move forward. This isn't working. You're not getting a return on your investment. It's like you keep sinking money into an investment, into a stock, and you keep losing and you say, well, I'm going to keep putting more money in there. I say, no, just stop. Just stop and move on. I know you don't want to, but trust me, years from now, you will thank me for telling you to move on. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments about this, I can be contacted on my website, theartoflove.net, where I am also available for private coaching. You can reach me there regarding that. If you're listening to this on iTunes, I would appreciate if you would review and rate the podcast. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.